Is Damon really the Night King? In recent days, a theory, considered by some, really absurd, has hit the internet. Although others give validity to it. This hypothesis proposes that Damon Targaryen, for some reason, ends up as leader of the White Walkers. Is this true? Are there clues that point to this reality, or is it simply an absurd theory? From the Night King's abilities to withstand fire, to the connection of Daemon and the Night King by the Dagger of Prophecy. These are details that could point to the fact that this theory could be true. In this video we will be analyzing all the clues that could indicate that Daemon will eventually become the enemy of men. The Night King. If you want to know this and more, stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this analysis, if you want to participate in the House of the Dragon Funka Pops giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, tell us which is your favorite character, and why. The winner will be revealed this coming October 20th. When I first heard this theory, I thought it was simply something absurd or laughable, but as I began to delve into the clues and connections between the two characters, I began to believe that actually the rogue prince could eventually be the one who becomes the Night King. For starters, in Game of Thrones we were shown the creation of the White Walkers. This occurred thousands of years before the events of Game of Thrones. Many of us thought that this scene showed the birth of the Night King, but the reality is that only the creation of one of them is shown, but it is not said which one. Therefore, it is not known if this was really the Night King. Understanding this, it opens the door that any character of the House of the Dragon could really be the leader of the White Walkers. There are several clues that point to Daemon. The first is his aesthetics. It has been mentioned that the Night King's clothing and Daemon's are very similar, as well as having a similar composure when walking. The second clue that points in the direction of Daemon is that the Night King can withstand dragon fire. The ability to withstand heat at this level is a magical trait Daenerys displayed, as she had dragon blood in her. But for some reason the Night King withstands dragon fire as well. For this there are two possibilities. Either that the ability to withstand dragon fire is something common among things associated with magic, or that the Night King is a hidden Targaryen, and already in and of itself, has this ability. The next clue that connects Daemon to the Night King is that he is a king. We can see that on the head of the leader of the White Walkers, there are horns that create the shape of a crown, curiously similar to the crown that Daemon wore, after the Battle of Stepstones. We can say that the man that the Children of the Forest turned into a White Walker, was not a king. But the biggest clue that connects Daemon to the Night King, is the fact that the Night King was able to fly the dragon. That magical connection to dragons, is an ability that is not so magical. It is a genetic trait, and this is why the Targaryen family often intermarry. If the lineage is maintained, they could keep these abilities. The fact that the Night King could ride the dragon in this way is the second direct clue that he could be a Targaryen. Also the Night King rides the dragon easily. As if he already had experience with them. We must take into account that the Night King, during the battles, seemed to be a military leader, and not just any military leader. He seemed to be one with experience against dragons. He could easily kill the dragon, which he then used during the battle. Another clue that could link the Night King to Daemon, is the dagger that Viserys carries. This dagger from the Prophecy of the End of Men, is the same dagger that Arya uses to end the life of the Night King, but it is a dagger that was also about to end the life of Daemon, in the scene where the king confronts Daemon over the rumor of Renera. There we could see how Viserys put the dagger in Daemon's neck. Could it be that it was an attempt to pay homage to what will happen next? Could it be that this dagger was meant to finish off Daemon? Another clue that connects the Night King to the Targaryen is that the enemy that kept him in his place for a long time was the Three-Eyed Raven, who was himself a Targaryen. The Night King has too many connections with the Targaryen, and this is undeniable, but how do you justify that Daemon really became the Night King? In this part of the video we will get into spoilers from the book Fire and Blood, but I will try not to reveal too much. According to what is mentioned about the end of Daemon Targaryen, 
after a very important event happened, his body was never found. Could it be that they took Damon's body and took it to the other side of the wall to turn it into a weapon against men? I think this point is the weakest of the theory, because if Damon's body is far from the north, taking it beyond the wall would be something that would take days or months for a person to do. And why would they take Damon's body for that purpose? If indeed the Night King at one time was a Targaryen, he must have been a military man, but one who lost his life on the other side of the wall. In my opinion, I think it's an interesting theory, but one that is unlikely. But it would be nice to see the birth of the Night King, and understand why he had these abilities that we have only seen in other Targaryens. But tell me, what do you think of the theory that Daemon is the Night King? Do you think it makes sense, or is it just a crazy theory in your opinion? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And for more Game of Thrones, House of Dragon videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, the Three-Eyed Raven.